Here we have a problem where we're asked to graph the following function. So we can start by defining this function in our numbered math. We can write f of x. And in this case, we want to define a piecewise function. So from the multi-line, we can choose cases. And the first case, f of x will be a fraction with x squared minus 2x minus 15 in the numerator and x plus 3 in the denominator. And this will be valid for x not equal to negative 3. So we choose not equal, negative 3. And the second case, x or f of x, rather, will be equal to 5 when x is equal to negative 3. And so this numbered expression doesn't need to be numbered because we're only going to have one of these lines. So we can remove this number by going to the cog icon and unticking numbered. Now the first step we can try is to simplify that big fraction we have. So we can try and factor the numerator. To do this, we have to assume that x does not equal negative 3, as is shown in the case. So we can write our assumption, and then we can do the simplification using check math. So we can insert a check math evaluate, and then we can copy our numerator, or our fraction, from earlier. And we can try to factor the numerator. So we can write a fraction, and we can factor the numerator into x plus 3 times x minus 5 over x plus 3. And we'll see that the x plus 3s cancel out, leaving us with x minus 5. Notice that check math marked this as conditionally correct. This is an interesting and useful feature, because the denominator, x plus 3, could possibly be equal to 0 if x equals negative 3. But we've already made the assumption that x does not equal negative 3, and so we can just consider this correct. So we can write, for example, hence. Now, again, with the numbered math, we write f of x, as before, equals, and then a piecewise case from the multi-line menu. And now we can know that this is just x minus 5 for x not equal to 3. Find not equal to the search menu. And 5 for x equal to negative 3. Now again, this equation is numbered, and we don't really need that. There's no reason to have it numbered, so we can untick the numbered box. Now we can move on to trying to plot this using GeoGebra. OK, so we're in GeoGebra. Now let's start by plotting the case where f of x equals x minus 5 for x not equal to negative 3. So at x equals 0, for example, the function is equal to negative 5. And at x equals 5, the function is equal to 0. So between these two points, we can scroll down and choose a line. And we can draw a line between these two points. Now this is x minus 5. However, this is only defined for x not equal to negative 3. So at the point where x equals negative 3, let's add a point, and this will be our discontinuity. So we can right click on the point and head down to settings. Now we want to choose a style for this point, which is an open circle, which indicates a discontinuity. There we have it. We can close this. And so our second case is that f of x equals 5 at that point where x equals negative 3. So we can add another point and insert it. And now we're done our plot. So we can go ahead and take a screenshot, copy it to our clipboard, and then paste it into our Hypatia document. All right, now we've just pasted our image into Hypatia from the inspector. We can then scale it down, say, to 150 pixels, maybe a little bit bigger, 300 pixels in width, perhaps. Let's try that. And there we go. Then we can also choose a centered alignment for the image, so it's centered in the document. And there we have it. Our problem is solved.